Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my Texas toy hunter Brad, who found this guy for me in one of his local targets. So Brad, thank you so much. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom, Waspinator there behind the plastic shield, some great looking artwork as usual of Waspinator in robot mode and Wasp mode. Here on the back, we've got Waspinator in robot mode and Wasp mode once again. Of course, side of the box is more of that Transformers Kingdom artwork. Now, one thing that bugs me about this packaging is look how Waspinator is in there at an angle. I'm not sure if that's because of the insect legs or what, but we'll find out soon enough. So let's get this bug out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Waspinator all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with one of the trading cards that all the Kingdom figures have been coming with. This one is Megatron, and you peel the sticker back, and this is a new one for me. It's Megatron cheering, so I guess he finally won. So that's cool, a different card at least. He also comes with his stinger or butt gun. And then of course, you got Waspinator. So now let's take a closer look at Waspinator himself. And here we have the highly anticipated Kingdom Waspinator. And my first impressions right out of the box is wow, I love the sculpted detailing on this figure. Just look at the eyes, for example, the compound eyes there in robot mode and the eyes there on the wasp head that is actually the chest in robot mode look amazing. And then if you look close at Waspinator's face, you can see the teeth right there, the mandibles, the molded in antennas there on top. This guy looks really, really good and great paint applications to boot with all the yellows and blacks and purples. I mean, they hit this spot on. He looks great. And then you have the molded details there on the wings. That's very insect-like. I love it. My big complaint with these wings, though, I know you guys hear me complain about translucent plastic, but I wish these were a lighter shade of purple. I think they're way too dark. I know he had a little bit of a purple tint in the show, but that's just too much. That's, that's way too much purple, in my opinion. Moving on down the figure, we got more great paint applications and sculpting. I mean, all the way around, the guy looks great. Though he is a little back heavy, you got to get him just right or he's going to fall over. I kind of had to stand him leaning forward a little bit to start the video with. Now, he does have these insect legs that are sticking out all over the place, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to maneuver him or pose him with all his articulation. There's no articulation for these insect legs other than just rotating them around like that or like that. But 
you can't really get them out of the way. I wish there was extra joints in the legs to fold them in behind the figure, but you know, it is what it is. And of course, here's another issue is he does not like to stay tabbed together there at the waist. It's a little sliding tab. You want to get that tabbed, this tabbed in and slide together. Now, once it hooks, it's not bad, but it will pop off fairly easy. And that's the way he comes out of the box. So you do want to watch for that. So now let's get into articulation. They already saw the wings. They're on ball joints, so they can go all around. You can pose them up. You can pose them down. They can flap. Whatever you want to do. The head is on a ball joint as well. Can look up and down all around. Arms out in complete 360 once you move the wings out of the way. There is a bicep bend and an elbow rotation and wrist rotation. Now, the joints on my Waspinator, as far as the arms go, are super duper tight. There's also articulation with these little antennas. So you can bring them up or you can bring them down. Your choice, whatever you want to do. There is waist rotation, but it's going to catch on the mandibles here for on the wasp head. That's the chest, but it's still there. Legs forward back, though they are going to hit the thorax, I guess is what that's called. Let's see, they can go out, they can go in, there is a knee bend, there is a rotation, maybe, it's right there, but like I said, mine's super tight, it's there, but I can't get it to budge. You can actually see the mushroom peg right there, so trust me on that one. There is a knee bend, and there is ankle tilts, so... Lots of posability with the guy if you can get it to work around all those damn legs. So let's go ahead and get him back here and we'll show off his weapon. Stand up. See, like I said, very back heavy. He just does not want to stay in. Ah. So here's his stinger weapon that is actually molded really, really good, but I wish it came with like a missile attachment or something that looks like the little harpoon or arrows that he used to shoot out in the show. You can put this in his hand like so. So now he does have his weapon, though I think that looks kind of lame. So now let's go ahead and get Waspinator transformed into Wasp mode. And how we're going to do this is let's go ahead and remove the Stinger weapon. And I actually like his transformation. It's pretty cool. First thing you're going to do is take the chest section up and then pop it out right there. So you've got that look going on. Then you're going to bring this whole piece up and you're going to take Waspinator's robot head and it's going to tuck into the back section right there, just like that. And there's a little tab right there that's going to tab into that little slot right behind the wasp head. Now my head already came together here. Now you saw in robot mode, it was a part. You actually push that together. But mine did it on its own. So now you have this going on. Now you're going to separate this section here and rotate this around like so. So you got this really deformed wasp thing going on. Go ahead and take these shoulders and bring them in. Make sure the yellow sections are facing each other and then rotate the arms around to make sure the insect legs look like so. And then you're going to bend at the elbows to bring the arms up against the body. Now you're going to take the legs, take the feet, and collapse them together. Bring the legs up into the thorax. And this little section right here is going to snap in to the butt of the wasp. So you've got that going on. Go ahead and bring this section here in. Now, you've got these little pegs right here, or these slots rather. They're going to match up to the slots on Waspinator's arms. So you're going to have to get this all together. Sometimes this is a little easier said than done. I've transformed this guy a few times, and this, this is a pain to do. But it's all about lining these things up just right. There we go. 
It's easier to try to do it one at a time. Now, once you get them lined up, there's little pegs right there on the feet. Clip those together. And then what you want to do, his head popped out. Get everything tabbed back together. Bring these feet up. See, untabbed. You're going to be doing a lot of tabbing and re-tabbing with this figure. And now once everything is tabbed in, he'll be looking like that. You're going to take the stinger weapon, and it just slots right into the back, like so. And there you have Waspinator in Wasp mode. And this mode doesn't look too bad. But, like I said, I really hate those purple wings. Great sculpted detail back here on the rear of the bug. Head sculpt looks great. There is some articulation with the mandibles. They can open and close, so that's really cool. As I showed earlier with the legs, all they can do is rotate at the base. So there's no articulation for the legs whatsoever. Of course, you can flap the wings and position those however you want. So all in all, not a bad looking waspinator. And a welcome addition to your Kingdom Predacon forces. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator with Kingdom Black Arachnia, Kingdom Scorponok, and Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Black Arachnia. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator is an okay figure. He's not as bad as I heard, yet not as great as I was hoping he would be. I really wish the figure would tab together better in places. I don't like the color choice for the wings. And those damn insect legs really get in the way of your posing. But still, it's not a bad figure to add to your kingdom line, especially if you don't happen to have the thrilling 30 Waspinator that I unfortunately sold years ago. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator belong in your collection? Well, if you don't have the Thrilling 30 version, then yes, this figure is not too bad. It's not great. There's a lot of issues I do have with him. Like I mentioned, not a fan of the bright purple wings, all the insect legs hanging off of him. He's a little back heavy, and he doesn't tab in the greatest, but still, he's got nice tight joints for robot mode, and he looks really, really good, so... You know, your mileage may vary, so this one, this one's up to you. If you need a Waspinator, pick this guy up. You may not be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to all my current channel members, I really, really appreciate your support. It's people like you that help keep this channel going. And 10 days, I hope to see most of you at TFCon in Baltimore. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!